Pepperoni hot pockets. I'm starving to death. Anyway, I have some issues I need to cover before we start this video. One is I have to give a special shout out to Tori and Jeff. Good luck. I've been a little bit under the weather in the last few days. Might be a little bit of delay in getting the videos out. I'm thinking about doing some shorter format ice cream reviews. Are you interested? Let me know. I'm taking comments. Hot Pockets Pepperoni. If you're curious, I give it a 4.7. But what can I say? It's Hot Pockets. So let's go ahead and get on with this video. This is the Joe is Hungry channel. I'm at the Del Taco in Calhoun, Georgia. They've got a new menu item. We're gonna check it out. It's called the Crispy Chicken Stuffed Quesadilla Taco. Thank you for choosing my Del Taco. What can I get made fresh for you today? Could I get three crispy chicken stuffed quesadilla tacos? We've got our crispy chicken quesadilla tacos. Let's roll around to the back and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. This thing comes in at a scorching 150.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot, that's fresh, even though it's mixed with cold ingredients. I'm gonna give him a big pass on the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for a little more scrutiny and more evaluation. So let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my semi-adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. If you like my food reviews, subscribe leave a comment i just got back from the del taco in calhoun georgia my crispy chicken stuffed quesadilla taco is still warm it's part of their new three-part menu that consists of grilled chicken stuffed quesadilla taco crispy chicken stuffed quesadilla taco that's what we're doing today and carne asada stuffed quesadilla taco that's the beef version for you people that are not in the know each one of these will weigh in at 450 calories. I have the stats up on the screen and of course in the description below. Each one of these will set you back $2.29 before taxes in Georgia. Each one of these is made up of two crispy chicken strips, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, cheddar cheese, wrapped inside of a grilled quesadilla, melted grated cheddar cheese, and creamy queso blanco cheese. And now it's time for the Joe's Hungry weight test. And Del Taco, they post serving weights on their products. Imagine that. They claim that this thing should weigh in at 195 grams or 6.8 eight ounces. Actually, I got three of these so I can check for consistency between crispy chicken queso taco and crispy chicken queso taco. Crispy chicken queso taco, number one, weighs in at 6.95 ounces. Crispy queso taco number two weighs in at 6.45 ounces. And crispy chicken queso number three weighs in at 6. Five zero ounces. They're all relatively close, so I'm gonna give them a pass on the Jules Hungry consistency weight test. However, they're supposed to weigh in at 6.88 ounces, and only one of these things actually made it above their posted serving weights. So I have to give them a fail on the Jules Hungry weight test. So now it's time for the Jules Hungry big reveal. Boys.
is what it looks like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was, and we even know what it's made of. Which leads us to the last and final test, the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. Bite Test, engage. It's a little dry. Definitely no shortage of meat. This is definitely uh, filling up kind of taco. It's garnished well, has plenty of uh, lettuce and tomatoes. They've got a good char on their quesadilla. I expect it to be a little bit crunchy, but it's not. As far as the value for this, $2.29. Maybe a hair overpriced. Needs seasoning, of course, sour cream. Who wouldn't put sour cream on anything? I don't know, not me. Maybe a little bit more cheese that they were talking about. I really can't detect a whole lot of cheese. It holds up real well, no bleed through. Now it's time to give this thing a score. Let's go ahead and give this thing a number that it sorely deserves. Under seasoned, dry, underweight, I'm gonna have to go with a 5.9. That's my score, that's my review, and we will see you in the next video.